Kelly Duckworth here with Miss Brittany. She is going to tell us a little bit about what she went through um, in her cancer journey. I don't know her personally. I really am not familiar with her story, so it's going to be interesting to hear it. Um, but I do know that Shirley's Way helped you a few years back, um, so that's obviously why she's here. Yes. So she's going to do this interview with us and kind of tell us a little bit about her and what she went through. So you can start off with whatever you want. Okay, well, I'm, my name's Brittany, of course. I'm 34 years old. I have two children, 17-year-old and a nine-year-old. Wow. Um, I worked full-time all my life, you know, did normal checkups with the doctor. Um, one day... I was doing a checkup on myself and I just felt something unusual. So I told my mom, you know, I feel a knot. And she was like, well, don't worry about it. If it moves, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So this was probably in January of last year of 2019. So I felt it getting bigger every month that I would check in. And she said, well, go to your primary care doctor. Mm -hmm. Went to my primary care doctor probably April of 2019. She looked at it. She said, well, Brittany, we'll watch it. She said, we'll watch it. So I'm like, okay. I noticed it getting bigger and bigger to where it was kind of making my arm kind of protrude out. So went back, let me see, that was April. I went back in maybe August. August, she said, we'll get a mammogram. Exactly. Didn't we do that months before. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that's what I said. Oh we could have did that back in April when I first came. But yeah. you want to keep watching it. Went to get the mammogram, and when I got the mammogram, you know how they do the mammogram? I seen some leakage come out. I had never had any leakage come out of my breast. So after I did my mammogram, got the results back, maybe then mm, two, three weeks later, I was walking into work, normal day, got a phone call, and they told me, you know, the mammogram came back, there's a tumor there, and I just, I lost it. Um. I think I knew it shouldn't be said over the phone. No, you know? no. I think that's why I was so hurt because yeah. you don't tell someone that over the phone. No, especially when you're at work, too. I mean, you, you know, that's something I feel like you need to be sitting there with the doctor, with your family or whoever. Yes. You know? Oh. Yes. So she told me that over the phone. I was hysterical. And I still proceeded to work. I went on to work because I didn't want to go home and sit and think about it. Mm -hmm. Had a bad day at work. I cried. I'm around a lot of people. I drove for Tark 3. Okay. So I was around people all the time, so I would tell them about it, and mm. they would kind of pray for me and things like that. So that was in September 30th. I'll never forget it, September 30th of last year. Um, they moved pretty quickly. Um, they did my port maybe two weeks later. They had surgery for the port, and then chemotherapy immediately, like maybe mm -hmm. a week later. I wasn't even all the way healed. I did, oh, gosh maybe six months of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy did nothing. And I had the strongest chemo. I had AC, which they call the red devil. And then the second one, I think it was carboplatin they did, and the tumor never changed. So how were your symptoms? I mean, you're probably sick the whole time, right? Well, by the grace of God, during chemo, the only thing I had were the foods that I ate tasted terrible. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sick. They kept they kept me on um, a lot of anti-nausea mm -hmm. medicines. I never got sick. I was just more so tired. I lost all of my hair, full everything, every piece of hair on your body, you lose all your hair. That kind of did a toll on me when I lost my hair. Yeah, my hair was woman, as long I mean, as yours. Yeah, as a woman, I mean, that's your pride, you know, your hair. Yes, oh. so I lost was all my straight? hair. Was it straight? Did it come back curly? Or and it came it? back curly, yeah, it was we really straight. All the time. Yeah, yeah. You're like, our hair came back completely different. Yeah, than what it's it was. a total <laughs> different texture now, so, but I like it. Yeah, I kind of like cute. it now. But that process, then after I did the chemo, like I said, it, the chemo did nothing. So they said, well, let's go ahead and do a mastectomy. Mm -hmm. do, just do a whole mastectomy, just remove the whole breast. I said, okay, I, I'm fine with that. Whatever you got to do, I'm fine with it. Mm -hmm. So they did that in April of this year. After that, um, did a little healing there. Then I had to do radiation. So I did 33 rounds of radiation. Yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been a, a journey. Yeah. 33 rounds of um, radiation. After radiation, did another surgery. So that went, the first surgeon, they did the mastectomy. They put an expander in my breast because mm -hmm. I wanted an implant. So they put an expander in. That was terrible. 
terrible, 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 terrible. I do not re recommend that. Mm. It hurts so bad. So they did the expander for a little bit, got that taken out, did another surgery to put the implant in and do a breast reconstruction so the breast can match. Um, I'm still fighting to this day. My journey is not over, but within a year, it's, it's been a lot. Yeah, sounds like it. Did they tell you at the beginning what stage you were? Yes. Um, so I was diagnosed with stage three triple negative breast cancer, which is like the worst one. We just had a woman last, uh, at the beginning of this week, I believe, and she had triple negative too. Yeah, it's the worst one. Ugh. And it's not genetic. It didn't come from my family or anything. It's it just, just happened. It just happened. Ugh, I don't understand that. It skipped my mom, my aunts, my sister, and came to me. Mm. Well, I know, I know you have a little boy. You don't, do you have a daughter? I have a daughter. So it I can't did a pass to her, right? No, it okay. cannot be passed well, to her. Good. Yes. I like to know those. You know, it gives yeah. you a little peace of mind. So, um, we always talk about insurance, too. I don't know. How, did you have any problems with no, insurance? No, I haven't had any problem with insurance. Good for you. Because, I mean, I guess with um, when I, my job, they, I got laid off from my job in March because of COVID, mm -hmm. for which... That was kind of a blessing because I had a lot going on mm -hmm. from Just March up until now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I still got to keep my insurance. So there's been no problem with paying for anything. That's so that's awesome. been a blessing too. Is reconstruction that's covered under insurance? That was because my question the other day. I mean, yeah, that's amazing. It is because of the health need for it. Yeah. So you're still fighting now. Do you have to get any more chemo or anything like that? Um, I don't think I have to get any more chemo because with triple negative breast cancer, it can spread to other parts mm -hmm. of your body. So just recently I found out it may be in my lungs. Mm. So I'm in the process of seeing what they're going to do about that. If I'm going to have to do, I think she said immunotherapy. I'm not, I don't mm. really know anything about immunotherapy. That's um, the reason I'm here. Uh, you know, this is my job. My mom passed. It'll be two years next month. Um, and she went through chemotherapy and all that. And immunotherapy had just started kind of becoming a thing when she was sick. But we've talked to quite a few cancer patients, and immunotherapy must be amazing. Hmm. I mean, it's like you don't get any side effects, like chemotherapy and things like that. Um, one of the women, she was kind of in a clinical trial with it. And so, I mean, hopefully that works. I hope you, so. You know? I hope so. But I, I still try to keep a smile on my face through it all. Yeah. I, I, I've been so blessed to not have any bad side effects mm -hmm. to where I'm bed bound or had any infections with the surgeries or with my port mm -hmm. or being violently sick from chemo. I never got sick from so chemo. So you still have your port in and everything. I mean, you look, like, you look great. Thank you. I mean, I, I hate to say, you know, you can see, you can tell someone has cancer, but you look great. Thank you. To go, you know, to go what you're going through. Um, but... Kim, social yes. worker, she, uh, she's the one that actually sent an email, and she was just like, I love what you all are doing. We have this, this girl, Brittany, that comes in, and she just could not talk any more highly about you. I she love said, Kim. Yeah. She said, everyone there, she said, just telling us about how you lost, you know, laid off and did all these things, and it was just kind of like, you know, you needed a little pick-me-up. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to bring you in. I told a little fib. Okay. But <laughs> I got you in here for an interview. And we wanted to give you a $500 check. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. going to get me crying. I can't. Well, <laughs> oh, my God. This is just kind of our way. Um, but so many people sound like they love you. And um, I know we've helped you in the past before. But it may not be as much as, as we did last time. But mm -mm -mm. we just... <laughs> I know. You just don't know. Oh, I know. You're going to make me cry, too. Mm. <laughs> they make me cry every time. But that's what Kim said. She was like, you know, whatever you're going through right now, and you have, you know, kiddos and all that stuff at home. So we just hope this helps you a little bit. It does. Thank you so much. Oh, you're my welcome. God. You guys are so wonderful. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I knew it was something with this. I knew it had to be. It was too good to be true. Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah, oh, we obviously we wanted to um, catch your story, you know, and, yes. and it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, yes. so we wanted to get that on there for you, too. But, yeah, this is just kind of, Yay. this is why I brought you in. Thank <laughs> you. You're so, so sweet. Welcome. You guys are so awesome. I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. It's been a blessing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys are awesome. Well, we love awesome, 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 awesome. <laughs>
Mm, mm, so, yeah. mm. Well, thank you all so much for watching, Miss Brittany. Um, we will continue to pray for her and keep us in our, her, um, in our thoughts that she's going to beat this. Thank you. So yes, yes, yes. You all tune in, watch the rest of our videos, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not. Thank you. Thank you.